E.L. was cracking, guys. You read that title correctly. I thought it was cool to see Darcy for the first time on TV. And now we're going to see the first time she was on 90 Day Fiance. It's going to bring back some memories. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do one of the current episodes of Darcy, just so we could see the huge changes that have been made. But I'm sure the change is already going to be drastic compared to the episode I did yesterday of their show from 13 years ago. People commented and said that show never got picked up. I wonder why. Oh, the show about them having no problems and being a wholesome family didn't get picked up? Reality TV needs drama. You'll see. Honestly, I'm pretty hyped to see some OG Darcy, so let's just hop right into this shit. This episode is only two years old, and she looks nothing like that anymore. From this picture, fuckable, for sure. So what do you think of like sports line, hustle and I sport? I love it, I think it's cool. A little sporty couture action. I'm Darcy, I'm 42 years old. I'm currently living in Middletown, Connecticut. Yeah, now that we're up a little bit closer, not hot. Still got that strong jaw though. The main thing I'm really happy about is Stacy probably won't be in this. I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, so I'm not sure, I just also hate her. This would be like a really yeah. beautiful color. I work in the fashion industry. Ooh, I like this. I have a company called House of Eleven along with my twin sister, Stacy. Didn't think they'd show her that quick. Also, that does not look like Stacy. I also got them both mixed up yesterday, so who am I to say? We want to do essential backpacks and then have essentials that Darcy would choose and then maybe like essentials that I, I would choose from working out to day to evening, all that. We got you kind of a gills. Did they get plastic surgery to like look more like each other? I mean, that's not out of the realm of possibilities. That's insane. But why wouldn't they do that? That's like their personality, being twins. Why not double down? Mommy's used to cooking on the gas stove. You gotta lower the flame a little. I have two beautiful daughters, Aniko and Aspen. <laughs> what a different vibe from today's Darcy. Would you ever see this bitch cook? She won't even shave her own ass. Also, never talks about her kids. I've seen people confused. They're like, she has kids? Penis isn't the only thing in her life? <laughs> I have joint custody with my ex-husband. I have been divorced for about six years now. I know deep down inside it probably still hurts. My daughters, my mommy and daddy aren't together. Yeah, it'll hurt now, but they're gonna get used to it. <laughs> they're gonna meet a lot of new dads. Uh, it didn't work out with you and the white rapper? That's crazy. Why didn't it work out? What's that fucking loser doing now? It's like he's on tour. Rinse them, wash them, you can use that as well. But we're like three little peas in a pod, so they're, they're my world. I've been single for a long time now, so I wanted to kind of open my horizons and found this international dating app because I thought it'd be cool just to kind of see what's out there other than the US. Yeah, that's why she did this. Not because she's exhausted all of the options in the tri-state area. Little does she know, this opened the floodgates, literally. The amount of European cock that is gonna run through this woman is unreal. Miles, miles of penis. One day I started scrolling in Amsterdam and I came across Jesse. Yeah, Jesse's back. I'm never gonna look like that, fuck this guy. But God, man, I remember, I'm just getting flooded with nostalgia right now. Oh, they were such a terrible couple. Oh. I just saw this really cute guy kind of sitting in a chair like this and looked absolutely handsome. Yeah, you don't think he's fucking way out of your league? I, I don't believe in leagues, actually. But this just doesn't add up at all. It will, because I believe she catfished him. I think she admits to it. And I think the producer asks her. I think I made fun of clips of this like four years ago, but it is quite refreshing to revisit. His fit and trim and... Jesse's a sexy man. Jesus Christ. Can this be on YouTube? Does he have an OnlyFans? Am I gay? I just feel European guys are just more, they have more pizzazz, more culture. Oh yeah, I remember when she said that. I was like, excuse me? They definitely have more culture, but more pizzazz? Ain't no European got more pizzazz than me. They're boring as fuck. Chip, chip, you want a crumpet? I actually forgot what this guy sounds like. When I first saw Jesse's profile, the age difference didn't throw me off. Um, he is younger than me. I'm 42, he's 24, so there is a big age gap. Oh, you're almost double his age. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't bother you? It should. Because what are you guys going to talk about? 
What are you going to relate to? Hmm? Oh, nothing. The only thing you guys both want to do is have sex and live in America. Actually, I bet you this guy doesn't actually want to fuck you. I actually kind of know that's true. But he just had this level of maturity. He has his own company doing personal training. Even though we fell in love over the phone. We never met in person and touched each other. Okay, stop. I'm falling in love with this guy. But he has a level of maturity before his brain has even fully developed. Yeah, that's the best time to date a guy. Right when his prefrontal cortex is developing. So when it's done, he can assess the risk of this relationship and leave you. I just felt like, yeah, he is the one. What photo did you have on your dating profile? Bring this back, TLC. Dude, I'm fucking gleaming with that question. What a good question to ask. Why don't they have them chime in more? I should be there. That should be my voice. Uh, from what I remember, I had a uh, selfie photo, I believe. I was a lot younger, um, mostly cropped from <laughs> the midsection up. You look fucking 28 in this photo and there's a filter on it. How, is this house not illegal? You know. <laughs> He always says how beautiful I am, which is really sweet. Yeah, he thinks her pics are beautiful because he hasn't seen you. Also, that him, Spread Eagle, that was the thumbnail last time. Do I use it again? It's so hard not to screenshot that, you know? Jesse's a charmer. He treats me beautifully, which I've never really experienced before. That you've never experienced before? In 42 years, not one guy has been nice to you? You were married. And this guy's treating you better than every guy through text? Shut the fuck up. I can say this with full confidence, knowing how this relationship turns out. In a relationship, he said, what are you looking for in here? I said, I'm, you know, looking for the one. And he said the same thing. And, you know, here we are today. You know, I'm about to go to Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, shit, he's not coming to America? Oh, boy. Usually I'd tell somebody to be worried about getting sex trafficked, but she's so annoying. They'd put a bag over her head, and in like 30 minutes, they'd throw her out of the car. And he's 24, looking for the one. I think he's looking for the one who's going to get him a green card. Actually, I know that. <laughs> See the love of my life. Okay. How long are you going to be gone? Mommy's going to be in Amsterdam for six weeks. Okay. With Jesse. On the surface, it can sound out there. I'm a female going to a foreign country to meet, you know, someone I haven't met in person for the first time. Yo, okay. Wasn't that sad? I know this isn't funny, but like literally... Oh, mommy's going to be gone for six weeks? You're leaving your kids for six weeks for penis. This selfish bitch. I totally forgot she went to Amsterdam first. Shouldn't the single, young, rich, hot guy be traveling? You have a good excuse, uh, children. Leaving, you know, my children. I love you. But it's, uh, it could be a little scary. Do you guys want bagels or toast? Toast. I think... You know, Jesse, you'd make an amazing stepdad to my daughters. That is a wild thing to say. And when I react, I'm not like acting because I obviously don't remember hearing these things. He's going to be a great stepdad to my kids. I've never met him before, though. He's a little bit older than your kids. He's going to be a good stepdad at 24. The kid's going to come to him for advice. And he's going to be like, yeah, I'm also curious. I think it would be the most beautiful thing ever to have a proposal, um, even after the six weeks. Yo, I forgot this show was like this. Yo, what? See, in my mind, he proposed in America. I don't know why. I do remember that she went to go visit and saw the parents. The parents were weird as fuck. I'm trying to decide if this is a TLC thing, having her say this, but I think it's a her thing. I think she's completely delusional. By seeing so many episodes of her and seeing how she acts, like, I I think they're just letting her talk freely, and they're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, throw out the scripts. This is way better. Mommy's really happy, you know? I'm happy that you're happy. But my daughters, they're my first priority, my first loves. Then why are you leaving them consistently? So if they don't like Jesse, that would change everything for me. Hey, what are you doing? Did you have any lip gloss? Oh, I got these in Italy. They're really pretty colors. Ooh. Growing up, me and my twin sister, Stacy, did everything the same. Okay, from this angle, Stacy looks better than Darcy. But I will definitely let you know if I change my mind, because you care so much. We dressed alike. We 
would say the same thing at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. When your children actually know it's not, it's frightening. If I had twins, honestly, I would have a real problem not getting rid of them. <laughs> Let me explain, okay? Because I've heard stories of where the twins will eventually find each other. So I would like to do, to do that, you know? That's like the greatest treasure hunt. And they also have to find their parents, at least their dad. Now that we're older and work together and live together, we uh, tend to sometimes butt heads a little bit. Yeah, do you? It's great her kids aren't around. Looks like somebody didn't get full custody. Which is hilarious because the other guy is not American. By other guy, I mean her probably now ex-husband. And why the fuck do you guys live with each other, yo? Is daddy paying for this house too? A bunch of people commented yesterday about how I was right that the dad, it's his house that they were living in. Even though it was incredibly obvious. Looking a little nervous, Darcy. No, I'm just excited. I want you to be prepared what you're getting yourself into, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're meeting someone that for the oh, first time I'm prepared, in person. Darling. I'm prepared. I hope so. Well, what happens if you guys like fight or argue or don't get along? Yeah, I'm also curious. Watch her be like, oh, that's not gonna happen. In six weeks, it's gonna happen. It won't in the first week. A mix of honeymoon phase plus being fake. But once week three rolls around, it's gonna be some fights. 14 days, this bitch, he's got something to talk about. We don't really argue and fight. Yeah, it would be incredibly concerning if you guys were arguing and fighting before ever meeting. I saw somebody comment yesterday saying, does he have to pause every five seconds? Yes. It's my show. So I'm a little bit worried that he's sweet talking her a little bit. I just want her to go in it with open eyes. You know, there will be challenges and there will be struggles, you know, because it takes more than just saying I love you. You know, I think she's in for a rude awakening. Doesn't it sound like she's talking about a daughter? Like a 14 year old going on a date for the first time? There's a lot of struggles when it comes to a relationship, okay? Yeah, no shit. Darcy's divorced. You both are. And if this is the first time you're seeing them and you're going, okay, those two relationships didn't work out and this 90 day fiance one didn't work out, I'm spoiling it for you. She must change her ways, right? No, <laughs> she doubles down, she gets worse. She starts dating guys faster. And I'm not joking. Yeah. I think he's the one. I'm just trying to be realistic. Right. I'm right. just trying get for it. you to so come down to earth a little you're, bit. I'm good. Your, your older sister by You've seven minutes. You've got hearts in your eyes. I, 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 don't, I don't have to see him every day to know that I care for him, Stacy. I know we care yeah. for each other. Right. It's crazy that you think a guy who's never met you actually cares about you. As if some dime at a bar couldn't walk up to him and be like, hey, you want me to suck your cock? He's going to go, oh, uh, no. I'm talking to Darcy. I care about her. Right. Okay. From separate sides of the world. Yeah, I still know. <laughs> so that's good. Some people might not understand, but I'm taking one last shot at love for me and my daughters. I, I've never felt this way for somebody. I've opened my heart in ways I've never done before. Oh my God, this is insufferable. One last shot at love for me and my daughters. Okay. One last shot? It's honestly hilarious knowing the struggle she's gonna have to go through. Watching this is like starting off with the first movie in the Marvel series. You're like, they got some work to do, don't they? Somebody's gonna die at the end of this, huh? When I was doing stand-up, a comedian said that Tony Stark died, and that's how I found out that Tony died. Surprise. Which makes me want to watch it more. Like, just that part on repeat. I love when the good guys die. You should have seen my reaction to Uncut Gems. Spoiler alert, when they shot Adam Sandler in the face, I got out of my chair and was like, yes! Because that's what would have happened. Sorry, I'm passionate about this. Back to Darcy. And I do fear, you know, you know, losing this great love, but hopefully it will be with him forever. Yesterday when I said they were making crazy transitions and it was hilarious and how I hate when they do these drive-by B-roll footage things. Like, okay, we get it. We see, we know her name. Like, why is that the go-to showing cars passing by? It'd be funny if that truck hit an IED. You guys gonna miss mom? Yeah. Or miss you guys. I'm gonna miss seeing you and you just picking and us up. Mile. Having like moments when we go to the mall or something yeah. this night.
Your children are going to miss you a lot at a very important stage of their life. Yet you're going to Amsterdam to get a green card and cure some dude's MILF fetish. Wow. Our girly moment. Yeah. I'm driving the girls a few hours to their dad's house. He's going to be watching them while I'm away in Amsterdam. I hope they pull up and he's just rapping because that's what he tried to do instead of, you know, be a father. But I'm pretty sure he's up this early in the morning. I think Jewel is 24 hours and they need baggers. It's okay. Leaving them, it's going to be difficult. I never want to leave their side. I really don't. Back to our country life. You know, I want you guys to feel comfortable with me being away for the six weeks. We'll be in constant communication. So you guys won't have to worry about anything. I don't really remember how she communicates with the kids or if she keeps up with them. But this is completely different to how she acts now. I get that the kids are like adults now, but she has not said anything close to a sentence like this in any of the clips I've done of her. I want to be very transparent with the kids to let them know, you know, mommy's heart is open for love right now. And I want them to be part of that journey. I don't want to ever have them feel like I'm neglecting them in that sense, you know, for, for uh, a relationship. That's some foreshadowing. It's like she said that knowing she's going to neglect them for every relationship she's ever in. At, you know, honestly, which might be the best thing for these daughters, not having Darcy as an influence. Because all these girls have to do is go, okay, I have to be not like that, which is pretty easy with a man and just know that i'm going to be in good hands this is an experience a journey and you guys are part of that with mommy and jesse if i were in your situation i would be nervous i'm a little nervous just because I'm, I'm anticipating and i'm excited but yeah. i feel like we've connected on such a deep level that it's not that kind of nervous feeling yeah I would love to know how they connect on that deep level. What, what does she mean by that? He's just fake vulnerable to her. She's like, oh my God, he's opening up. I know he doesn't sex traffic her. Nothing bad happens to her except her heart gets broken a trillion times. But why do you trust this man so much? Do you know how easy it is to lie? That's the easiest part. Kidnapping is a little bit harder than lying. And you're making the kidnapping pretty easy. All he has to do is pull up in a blacked out limo and she will never be seen again. Jesse wants to propose, you know, he's come to the States. This is going to be an exciting time. New things, new beginnings. I get that it's 90 Day Fiance and they are contractually obligated to get married within the 90 Day window. But this is insane to hear. Because I think the term like 90 Day Fiance comes from when they come to America, the visa allows them to be there for 90 days. So this guy doesn't have to propose to come visit. I have no idea what's going on with this woman. Somebody said there's like a channel that breaks her down psychologically. When the, I mean, like I do that as well, but he actually talks about her as a psychologist. Need to see that shit. One thing that I'm nervous about is that if like one person does something wrong, he's kind of like possibly ruin the whole relationship. So I just want her to like take it easy. I want them to like wait before they get married and not like rush it probably like a few years, like three maybe. It's crazy how her 14-year-old daughter is smarter than her. Very concerning. Mommy. Yeah, babe. We're almost there. I know. I'm going to miss you guys. <sighs> okay? Oh, my God. These kids are never going to forget this. It's crazy we're seeing it filmed the exact moment these kids have permanent resentment for their mother. Are you not even getting out of the car to hug your children? I get it's cold out, but come on. My face, brother. Huggies. Love you. I'm gonna miss you. I'll be back soon, okay? <laughs> Don't be sad. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm really, obviously, like, head over heels in love and, you know, spiritually and emotionally, I'm invested in this. And I know the kids are, you know, a part of that picture, big time. Oh, okay, she is getting out of the car. Okay, whoo. 
God, this is such a good clip. This is so enticing to want to see what happens next. I see why she was such a success. Hearing a woman say this about a guy she's never met, it's like, I need to see her live life. How does she die? It's gonna happen on camera. That would be great for viewership. It's a package deal. Their hearts are on the line as well. I love you, Annie Cohen Aspen. I'll see you soon. It's a tree. Runs over her ex-husband on purpose. Proud of you, girls. My babies. You know, I just have to... <laughs> you see this camera angle? That means there's a guy in the back seat like this. And she's crying. <laughs> Why is she so comfortable with this? Stay strong. And believe in, you know, what I'm doing. I'm following my heart. It's not my heart it's telling me to go see him. Maybe you should use your brain for once. Oh my God, are we gonna see her meet him? Is that gonna happen in this episode? No way, no, I don't think so. You know, this six weeks is going to be such a whirlwind of emotions. He's 24, I'm 42, and it can sound crazy, you know, 18 years apart, traveling across the world to see the love of your life, you know, is she delusional? Yes, listen to yourself for once. You give yourself all the right answers. There had to be some financial incentive, obviously. They've, pe they've wanted to be on TV for so long. Now they have this opportunity. Why would she not do everything she can to be the star of the show? I think I'm right, especially now that we have hindsight. This is, you know, not about spending money to go on a nice vacation to see a hot guy. This is like the real deal. I. I'm totally head over heels for you, and I can't wait to be in your loving arms. He's going to propose, hopefully, and I, I think it's it's gonna happen, you know, sooner than later. Just boarded, got my seat, ready to go. Can't wait to see you, babe. Counting down. Wow, the way they slowed that video down at the end kind of seemed like she was someone who died in 9-11. I wish. I'm just kidding, that would be impossible. Darcy did orchestrate 9-11, though. That is a fact. God, this was amazing. It's hard to believe that she's a real person, especially compared to the woman she was in the video we did yesterday. They're like, oh, we're so wholesome. We're going to give to charity and change the world. Didn't say that one time. They're also not in that big-ass house anymore. Wonder what happened. But I guarantee you daddy is paying for her apartment, which is cool. Her dad could pay for my apartment. That'd be sweet. But we know what happens. But I don't remember if he proposes in Amsterdam. I don't think I'm going to do like the next episode or anything like this. I just wanted to revisit to see just the difference between yesterday's show and today. And then I'm going to do a current one tomorrow. But this one was the true Darcy. Yesterday was a fake Darcy. And it was like she knew what she was doing was wrong. She's like, I'm not abandoning my kids to go meet a hot guy. This isn't a vacation to meet a hot guy. Yes, it is. But what else is it? But this paid off for her, you know? Like, she's still on the show. They, she has her own show now. So is she stupid or are we stupid? Is this the key to success? Should we all go fuck a guy in Amsterdam? Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate every single one of you. Yo, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hate swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so pissed off. Like, uh, I know what you're saying. You're making me say it. And I also don't get why swears are bad. They're very good describing words. And I would also never censor myself for money that does go against everything I believe in. And a new Patreon podcast is coming out probably this week. So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. The views are insane, dude. The channel is doing great. Thank you. For real. I love you. Every one of you. Mwah.